Oh my God. So seven, very good. Okay, so you're gonna put it here four and zero, right? Correct, everybody? Okay, so one, zero, four, zero, four, one. So any number, any idea which number you're gonna put it here? Two. Very good. So the answer is four, nine, six. So the answer is seven, nine, eight, one. Good job, very good. Very good, congratulations, all of you. So now I'm going to move forward to the move up. So I think this question is pretty easy. Number one, everybody, please do the number one yourself. And everybody, you have the number is three minutes as well. This is a little hard. Same. Done. Send it to me. The last answer. Wait, I almost got it. Mm -hmm. So close yet so far. Okay. Okay. Good job. The Ethan 小朋友啊 ，Ethan 小朋友就是一个需要老师经常哎呀，看管他一下。Very good. Okay, everybody. Very good. So, um, how do we do this question? Okay. So the key point of doing this is. Think about it, he has a zero, so we have a zero here. Correct, everybody? So zero and zero. And everybody, the only number could be here is five, right? Because five times six equals zero. So carry over three. So this one is eight, so carry over three. So here is three. So 376 times five equals 1,880. So the question here is, everybody, what 1,880 times what equals 3,000 something? I think the most important, this most possible answer here is a three, because you know what? A lot of students think, okay, maybe we have two and nine, right? But here we need to have a number like four, like a bigger number, correct? So that's why I think 
I'm going to vote for the bigger number here, so 3 and 0, something like that. So in order to get here at 3, 0, I think the only thing here is 8, right? Because 9 is too big. 3, 7 times 9 equals 63, and 6 plus 27 is 33. It's over. So I'm going to bat for 8. So 6 times 8, 六, 八, 四, 十, 八, 四, 七, 八, 五, 十, 六, 六, 这里是不是零? I carry over six, so three times eight equals 24, so it's 30. So the perfect answer is one, three, one, nine, six, zero. Very good, good job, okay? Daniel, Mike, 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 I think you can do it, okay, Mike? Well, uh, mm -hmm. I, 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 was, I, I was doing eight, and then I calculated wrong, so I thought eight was the wrong number. Oh, so okay, yeah. So that's a pity, right? So everybody, number two is pretty easy. So everybody, you still have three minutes. Start now. Jiao, Ethan. Jiao, Mike. Jiao, Daniel. So everybody, when you've finished, please give me this number as well, okay? Okay, everybody, times is up, okay? So I have received one answer only. And let's see if this answer is right or not. If it is right, then that is a person to get it right only, right? A few minutes. Okay, I, I just to give everybody another one minute, okay? 我相信还有小朋友能做出来的 Ethan, Jasper, I have to say congratulations. <laughs> what? Are you happy? Yes. <laughs> I can't more than one answer, because like so. It's only one answer. 
Good job, Oliver. Okay, time is up. Okay, so I'm going to just help you a little bit. Okay, everybody. So based on this one, the five is here, everybody. The five is also here, right? So the possible answer here is one, three, five, and seven and nine. Correct, everybody? I cannot see Daniel. Daniel, where are you? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so one, three, five, and seven, nine. Everybody, can you tell me why we're only allowed to put one, three, five, seven, nine here? Ethan. Mm -hmm. Because like, Leah, uh, an odd number multiplied by five can have five in it. Very good, very good. Michael, understand, right? And Mike? No, Oliver, you can put Oliver, 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 no, 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 so the only possible answer here is also nine, right? So 95, 95. So four, zero, one, zero, four. Okay, so we get the answer already. Okay, so that the moment Mike asked me, Lao Shi, is it possible that we have a different number? For instance, I put an eight here. So let's see if it is possible to put an eight here, okay? But not like, I, I mean like, because like the two numbers, yeah, so 85 and 85 is okay. But if you put eight here, everybody, you're going to find out the digit is not big enough. So you cannot make it what? Four digit number as the answer. So the only answer here is this one is nine and this one is 11. Understand everybody, Mike? Yeah. Okay, Michael, understand? Okay, so that is the only possible answer here, okay? So now let's take a look at this one. So number three, boys and boys, I would like to tell you this one is just a typo. It's not zero. Okay, how you would say, oh, this place is definitely wrong. No, it's not. It's definitely not zero. Okay, it's just my, like, when I'm doing this, it's just a mistake. Okay, so this question I want you to try to find out.
Okay, so all, all of you, if you finish the question, just to tell me the answer of this one, okay? Done. Um, Carrie, mm -hmm. then how do you write the answer? Uh, just to tell me this number. Just to this number. For instance, if the answer is 13, you just oh. can give it to me. Okay, so everybody, I hope I have received um I have received four answers. One of them, unfortunately, a little bit wrong. Okay, I'm sorry. But the rest of the you who sent me the answer all get it right. Okay. Got so, it right. Thank you. Yeah. Did I get it wrong? And uh... okay. So let me just to see. Okay. So everybody. So the key point is, first of all, if this number is one, so it's three times this, so if I name this A, is three times 30A equals something, something one, right? So which makes this A must be what? I want to ask um, Jasper. Uh, uh... <laughs> um... What time three? The last digit could be one. Very easy. It starts with an S. Yeah. Seven, 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 yeah, seven. seven, right? So three times seven equals 21. So it's one, one, one. So because this one minus one, one, one equals zero. So this is one, one, one as well. Yeah. Okay, so now the question is what time 37 equals 185? So 185 divided by 37 equals 5. So this number is 5. So the answer is 53. Okay, okay. congratulations for the one who get it right. So now let's move forward to the number 4. Everybody, number 4 is a little bit different because the last digit here is number 0 but 4. Understand, Ethan? Okay, so it's no more E0, okay? So I'm going to give all of you three minutes. I'm a very good teacher. I'm not going to push you. So three minutes, everybody start now.
Why the ask your mom to be a little bit slower, Polly? Yeah, only give me this number, okay? Okay, uh, you're going to have to find it out. Okay. So the key point is here. I already handed it. I'm going to send it in. You send it in. All right. Oh, actually, uh, sorry. I think I did it wrong. Okay, now it's correct. Uh, okay. Okay, so everybody, I'm going to start to explain, okay? Because I only received Jasper's answer and Michael is going to exchange it. And Jasper, you after you send the answer, you have to go away from me. Where are you going, Jasper? I don't know. I'm okay, outside. everybody, so Carrie Luo and Michael Lee and Mike and Daniel. So let me ask you a very simple question. So 12 times what is 100 something last digits eight? So two times what will last digits eight is either four or nine. Is it possible to be four? No. Mm -hmm. Right, very good. So only nine is possible. So it's 108. So this one's one. So one minus zero is one. So this one must be one as well, right? So now the question is, because this is also, oh, this is also 108. So this one is 12 times what equals two digit number. So I think this number cannot be what? Cannot be nine, right? And it cannot be small because it's a three digit number minus a two digit number equals four. So we're gonna try eight. So eight times 12 equals 96. So what three digit minus 96 equals four? 100. 100. Oh, I guess the zero is here. Correct. So 100 and what? 118 minus 108 equals 10. 
So plus zero. So now the answer is right. So the answer is 98. Unfortunately, none of you get it right. Okay, so keep going. Okay, keep going. Do you understand this question, everybody? Yeah. Okay, so uh, Oliver understood? But 98 times 12 doesn't equal 1180. It's true, there. And you want to you get you get remainder four. Oh. Get it? Yeah, I said at the very beginning, I said, you know, the answer and the beginning are the same. remainder four, right? Okay, so now let's take a look at last two questions, okay? So let's just remember, let's do this one, okay? So three minutes. Start now. Hold up. Again, everybody, you still send me the answer with here, okay? Very simple. Here is 700. Here is 800. Here is only what this number? Ah, I remind you. One, one, one. Yeah, 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 Okay, everybody, three minutes is up. I have received an answer. Good job. Mike, I'm glad you're coming back. Good job. Okay? So other than Mike, nobody's sending me answers. Oh, you have that people. Wait. You have that people. Uh. Wait. Okay, I'm going to give you Okay, so I have received two answers. Come on, anybody, send me one.
没有啦，好啦，我们先小朋友们来来 ，Daniel, Daniel, come on, Daniel, let me ask you. So the only number could put here is what? 我们刚才已经说过了，是什么？ Um, it's one. Very good. So it's seven hundred something, right? Get it, everybody. So now let me ask you. So since this one's one something, right? So one thousand something. So the only possible answer here is what? Because a minus seven equals one, right? So one thousand something. So can you put one here? No, because if it is one, so one times seven hundred something, it should be a three-digit number, right? So everybody, so the only possible answer here is two, because if you put three here, everybody, so three times seven equals two, so it's already over. So the answer is twelve. Get it? So remember, I said I only needed these two numbers. So Jasper, congratulations! You are very smart, and you, I think I don't think you have the time to. Uh, so everybody, if your teacher is not asking you for all the numbers, so twelve is good enough. Well, I was gonna. I kind of get it, everybody. Okay, so now let's take a look at this one. So if this one is six, this is also six. So two times what equals six? So there's possible a three or eight, right? So let's see if it is three. So two times three equals six, and two times seven equals fourteen. So you can put. Some numbers here, right? So we need to. If this is fourteen, this is fourteen as well. So here is two, right? So which means so one times so it's one hundred and twenty-three here. Okay, so this one is two times three equals six, and two times two equals four. So it's like that. So here will be seven and four. Get it, everybody. So this yeah. will be six. So the answer is one, two is the most important part. The rest part is not that, that important. Understand everybody? Ethan, understood? The digit is very important, okay? So congratulations, Jasper. So last, last questions, okay? Everybody, I'm gonna warm you, okay? So this one, the remainder is two. OK， 好，小朋友们啊，我们来看看。Here， the answer here is two， right？ So everybody， I want to ask you a question. So here， this one could only be what？ One. Very good. Thank you, Mike. Is it you, Mike？ Oh. <coughs> Who said? Who told me? Ethan? No. Yeah. Who told me one? No, no one said. Okay, so very good. This is seven. So because this number minus seventy something equals zero, so this number is not also two. Correct, everybody. Yes. Big possibility. Big possibility, right? Okay, so because this one is eight, this one is also eight because this number dropped, 
And eight minus what equals two? Eight minus six equals two. Very good, Michael. Okay, so three times what equals six? Um, two. Twelve or... Two or... Two or two or... You have so there's nothing but two here, right? So here is 2260. equals two, so 280. So this one is dropping, so this is one as well, right? And because this one dropped and there's nothing, there's only two ones, so this one must be zero. Correct? You drop to two numbers. So this one's zero. So because it's two, so very easy. So 72 and this is 74. So the answer is 7,418 divided by 72 equals 103 and the remainder is two. Understand everybody? Good? Okay, very good. Okay, so now this part, okay, where, oh, Michael, so everybody, we're going to learn the part is this part is just to train our brain, right? Okay, I hate you, Carrie Luo. Okay, so everybody, we're going to take a look at the square root for today, okay? So before we do that, the square root for today is I'm going to ask all of you to take a look at this one, okay? So this part is pretty easy. So let's see how much we can finish today. The square of a number is a product of the number in itself. Correct, everybody? So for instance, eight times eight equals 64. So we named it A squared, right? So 64 square root equals eight times eight equals eight, okay? So everybody, I think you have learned four plus three equals seven, so that's why seven minus three equals four and seven minus four equals three, right? So that is what? So plus and minus, they are reversed to each other, right? And I think you also learned four times three equals 12, so that's why 12 divided by three equals four and 12 divided by four equals three. So that's why this one and these two are reversible to each other, right? So the, for the square number, that's the same thing, okay? If we have four times four equals 16, everybody. So 16 square root equals four. Get it, Daniel? Hmm? Daniel, how shall? Oliver, do you understand? Okay, so now let me just tell you the secret of the square root, okay? So square root is looking like a little house, okay? So inside a house, you're going to find out the two same numbers times together. It must be times, okay, everybody? If it is plus, it cannot be square root, okay? So for instance, we have a number 36. So 36, why it is equal six? It's because two times 36 equals two times two times three times three. And every single two same number, you take out one. When you take out of the house, the twins, became a single. The twins became single, okay? And the three times three equals what? Equals three. So it became two times three. So the answer is six. So why I'm telling you this, okay? It's because we're going to learn something harder. If I ask Daniel, so square root 25, he knows it's five. Square root 36 is six. And square root 49 equals seven, right? But Daniel, if I give a number 12, do you know what is answer? Okay, so we're going to prime factorization is two times two times three. Everybody, did you see that? Okay, so now everybody, when you see in the house, there are two, same thing, two became one. So two is out. Yes, thank you, Carrie. But the three, they don't have a friend. So they stay in the house. Only with the people with the same friend, they can get out of the house and play, okay? So that's why it's two and square root three. Understand, Michael? Understand, Ethan? Okay, so we're gonna do another one, okay? For instance, 18 square root. So 18 equals what? Equals two times three times three, right? So because three and three, they have a friend, so can get out. Get out. One who is still the same thing, stay in the house. You don't have friends. You're not allowed to go outside, it's dangerous. 
You get it? Okay. Yeah. So let's take a look at the next one. So 24, 75, and 150. Everybody? The Solve. Three. Okay. <sighs> Problem solved. Harry, do I have to send it to you? Yes. But how are we supposed to send the square root sign? Ah, uh, 那个哦，你这个还是不行对吗？那你就写 SQ， 然后里面的 name number. I don't have the square roots. Um, you yeah, can I... SQ. 就比如说像这个，你就写成呃 three s q two. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry. Yes, all three. Okay, everybody, I have received so many answers. Okay, so I'm going to just to show you if you get it right, you just to click on yourself, okay? So everybody, 24 equals two times two times two times three. Okay, get it? Okay, so if 24 equals two times two times two times three, I only see one pair of best friends out. So they can be out, so two. And whatever is don't have the same thing, they stay in the house. So it's two and the square root six. Okay, so next one, three times five times five. And the only best friend is out is five. So that's why it's five and square root three. Okay, so 150 square root equals two times three times five times five. Again, only the best friends gets out. So it's five and the square root, whatever is no having the best friend stay in the house. So five and the square root six. Everybody, Wait. I'm very happy. Like most, oh, Damala? Jasper, did you find out which one, which one are you making mistakes? Yeah. Okay. So Daniel, you're good. Okay, when you see this one, so in the house, two times three, we can just do transfer to something like that. Very good. Good job. Understood, um, everybody? Harry, did uh -huh. we, I just want to quickly receive mine. Yeah, I, ha I have seen oh, yours. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Just checking. 
yeah yeah if you have any questions let me just let me know okay okay so, uh -huh. the washroom. yeah of course okay so everybody i hope you are enjoying this part because this part is the is a part like for the square root okay so a lot of students doing not very well for the student uh, for the for the square root so this is thing okay okay so we have already learned the square root 12 equals two square root three right but also this equals 3.46410161511 so everybody let me ask you a very simple question how do we get this one is because we have a calculator. <laughs> so today, starting today, we're learning the math. You can use the calculator. Everybody, okay? So if you have a phone or if you have a calculator, I want you to show you that if, for instance, there's 12 square root, how do we find it? You put 12 and you find a thing is called square root like that. If you see this button, you see this button. You're 12 and see this button and then you tell me if the answer is the same as the book. Let me know. everybody did you see this button square root x and square like that okay so now i'm going to quickly move forward okay so this one is if you have you already know that 25 square root equals five, right? And I also, you also know 12 square root equals two and square root three, right? So now let me ask you, so if I have a square root three times square root three, how to do that? Okay, everybody, the house is still there. Put the three times three there, is it true? Yes, okay, so the answer is three. Get it, everybody? Because you have three friends and take out of the house. Get it, boys and girls? Understood? Okay, so now I'm going to, no, no, no girls, I'm sorry, okay? There's only one girl, it's me. So everybody, let's take a look at this one. Ethan, Jasper. So if I give you square root three times square root two equals what? Everybody, just a long square root of the house is three times two. And there's nobody having the best friend. So square root six. Get it? Okay, so now I'm giving you a question. Is square root three times six, six equals what? Everybody, square root three times square root six equals square root 18, right? But 18 equals what? Equals two times three times three, get it? So the answer is what? Three square root two. Square root I'm gonna two. stop here, understand? Okay. Okay, so now let me show you another way of doing that. So square root three times square root six is equals to square root three times square root two. Correct, everybody? Is this one equals these two as well? We learned it before. So now because these two equal three, so that's why it's three square root two. I'm gonna stop here, let you digest and everything. Understood, everybody? So if you understand, 
square root seven times square root 14, square root three times square root six, and square root five times square root 15, and square root nine times square root nine. Okay, everybody, very simple question. Four, four questions, please do it. Here. Okay, I have received some answers. Okay, give you one minute, one minute, one minute, okay? Okay, so I'm going to explain the question, okay? So the good thing is this one is there are two ways of doing that, okay? So the first one is square root seven times square root 14 equals square root 98. And square root 98 equals seven times seven times two. So based on there are two same things, they're gonna take out one, so seven and square root two. So that's the answer number one. But I also have another way of doing that is because it's seven, square root seven times square root of seven times square root two, right? So square root seven times square root seven equals seven. So it's seven square root two. Both of them can lead you to the right answer. So let's take a look at number two. Square root three times square root six equals square root 18 equals two times three times three. So the same thing, take out one, so three and square root two. And there's also another way of doing that is square root three, copy done, and square root six equals square root three times square root six, two. So these two times together equal three, so three square root two. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. So square root 75, okay, so five times five times three square root, so the answer is five square root three. And this one, square root five times square root five times square root three. So the answer is five square root three. Last one, square root nine times square root nine equals nine. Okay, so when you see two square roots, the same thing times together, all you need to do is just to take out their houses. <laughs> Get it everybody? 
Okay, so the answer is this, 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 and that. Understand, Michael? Okay, so now let's just do the one last sets of the multiplication, okay? So four square root, sorry, 14 square root times square root two times square root six. This one's harder. Square root 18 times square root two times square root six equals four. And square root 27 times square root three equals what? Okay, three questions. Boys and boys, your turn. Okay, I have received um, um, Daniel. Daniel, there's a one thing I just want to tell you, okay? So if you have a square root one, that means one. So if you have, for instance, three square root one, that basically just three, because three times one equals three, get it? Okay, good job. This part, I, I just want to like tell you, okay? So first of all, everybody, I'm going to just explain this question, okay? So this question looks very complicated, right? So it's 14 times two times six together, right? And I'm going to do is two times two times two times two. All right, there's no more. So there's a two times seven times two times two times three. So in order to put them together, I want to put the same thing. So three and seven. This is a very bad question because only one pair of two could be out and the rest of them has to stay in the house. So it's two and the square root 42. Get it? So two times three times seven, so it's 42. So next one, so it's what? It's two times three times three, everybody 18, and times two, two, and six is two times three. So you're gonna find out it's actually two times two times two, and three times three times three square root. So the answer is two to the out and three to the out. So two times three out and the whatever left there is square root six. So the answer is six square root six. Okay, last one is 27 equals what? Equals three times three times three and times three. So the answer is two, three get out and two, three get out. So three times three, so the answer is nine. 
Get it, everybody? Okay, so that is the answer for these ones, okay? So, uh, Daniel, sorry, Jasper, do you understand? Jasper? Yeah. yeah. If there's anything you don't understand, could you please tell me? Like, all you need to do is just a prime factorization it, just to make them as a factor. Understand, Michael and Ethan? Okay, and I know uh, Oliver get it all right, but the rest of you, just a little teensy bit differences, okay? But this one. So now let's take a look at this one, everybody. So if I have a square root four times square root six, you know it's square root four plus six, right? Oh, sorry, <laughs> times six, right? So I'm, I'm thinking about something else already. But if I give you square root four plus square root six, can they do is four plus six? No. Okay, everybody. So this one cannot be combined together, but how to? There's only one thing, okay? So how to plus them together is you do square root four equals two. And square root six, you need to go to the calculator. You do six square root equals 2.4494. So plus together equals 4.4494, okay? But something like that could be plus together. Two square root three plus square root three equals how, equals what? I want you to make a guess. Two square root three plus square root three. It could be plus together, but equals what? Three square root three. Very good. Three square root three. Understand everybody? Because that's a two times square root three. The R so the answer is three square root three. Understand everybody? Yeah. Okay, so if you understood, so let's take a look at this one, okay? So I give you a question. So four square root six minus two square root six equals what? Two square root six. Understand? Look at the board, Michael, look at the board. Okay, understood? Okay, so four square root six plus two square root six equals what? Equals six square root six. Okay, so now I want to show you a thing, okay? So square root 12 plus two square root two. Oh, 学生朋友说,老师,这个又不能做了,可以做的,为什么? Because two square root six, so square root 12 equals what? Equals two times two, oh, sorry. What is what? By three, okay? So everybody, this one can be plus together because this one equals what? Equals two and square root three plus two and square root three equals four and square root three. Get it, everybody? I want you to take a look at this one and taking notes right now. Okay, everybody, did you finish copy the notes? Okay, so if you finish copying the notes, let's take a look at this one, okay? So I'm going to give you some easy questions first.
最后一道题最难啊。Okay, everybody, let's take a look at this one, okay? Square root three plus square root three equals what? Equals two square root three, right? Two square root three minus one square root three equals what? One square root three. Okay, so that's one the same thing. So one square root five plus two square root five equals what? Equals three square root five. And square root five times square root five equals what? Equals five. And this one's a little bit hard because it's 75 equals three times five times five plus two square root five equals five square root three. Oh, sorry. Yeah, five square root three plus two square root five. So this one cannot be combined together. Okay, so this one. So this one's a little bit hard. We didn't learn it before. Okay, so it's three times Square root two times two times five plus two square root five. So everybody, two same thing, take out. So two is here. So three times two equals six. So it's six square root five plus two square root five equals eight square root five. Understand? So the last part is a little bit confusing, but all I want to do is just to review all the notes, like the note here. I'm here with you. And if you have any questions, you can just ask me. Understood everybody? Okay, so that's a part that very important for the square root. I know it is totally different than the one we learned before. Okay, so that's the thing. So everybody, I want you to review this eight questions we did for the, um, the questions we did for the shu shi, right? And, uh, Last part is a square root, it's just a calculation. Do a little bit more than you understand more. Okay, understand everybody? Today we did a very good job and I'm going to, uh, I'm very impressed, okay, all of you, very good. Okay, so that's it for today's class and we sure enjoyed it. We're gonna see each other next week. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.